newly honored guard cruisers with the hack ability is hilarious. Yeah, it's once you upgrade it so you can see the cruisers. Mm hmm. Alright, confirm that we're on. Oh, I just forget it. to delete every, all the cookies every three days or something, I don't know. Hmm. Websites keep logging me out. Uh, yes, we're Cool. Uh, Renan and Mabry should be here in a few minutes. I'm not sure graham crackers counts as a little. Hey Daniel. So, wait, what did you say? Are there graham crackers in here? Yep. Yeah, there are. Okay. Not much of those here. Yeah. Uh, how much of that slice and share Snickers is left? Um, a chunk. Probably like two pieces worth. Okay. Well, I think I hear. Like two or three pieces. Now. This amazing dessert called Nookies that are deep fried cookie dough. Ooh. Mm. Yes. And it is exactly are... as good as you would think. Yeah. Is that spelled for. Wait. I, I, I misidentified the first portion of that word. Nookie. Nookies. Oh, that was an N. Okay. Yes. It was I totally an N. I see what they've done there. It is yes. detected. Yes. Yes, it is. It is, uh, it is about the sweet, sweet banging. Good idea. It's right across the highway. From yeah. us. They're right next to the new Chili's location. Mm -hmm. Right across the highway from us. Yes. In the like over, over near the coals and stuff. The the new thing they've been building. Over there. Mm. <sighs> so how you doing? You got uh, a haircut. I did get a haircut. Because I had a job interview on Thursday. Oh, yeah. do, do you know how it went? Uh, I feel pretty good about it. It, yes. it. Andy was the interviewer. so. Oh, well, okay then. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the real question. Did it feel much like an interview? Uh, not really. Parts of it did, but... You should have just gone and been like, bro. <clears throat> did you just start to say not really? Bro. Say what? You started to say not really. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I've gotten the job, the interview felt freaking nothing like an interview. Yeah. But, but yeah, but... but the, the the parts of it that that you know he up front acknowledged okay this is standard interview stuff blah 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 those parts felt like an interview yeah hmm. but that that's kind of expected the red it, it we, i it, in in our discussions i even brought up shinjin io so that's how little like an interview <laughs> it was <laughs> cuz he he uh what 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 had happened was uh we, we are streaming by the way but it's it's fine. I don't think anybody's We're watching about a video yet. Game. We're talking about a video game, so <laughs> yes, it's fine. It's on topic. Uh, sure. He, he, uh, Which video game are we talking about? Uh, Shinjin, Shinjin I O. Hmm. Uh, it uh. Microprocessor systems programming. Wee. Yep. He was talking about how uh, uh, most of the cameras in the schools there are broken. There's like four across all of the schools that work still. Whoops. And so I brought up the first stage of Shinjin I.O., where you're uh, 
where you are programming a fake security camera. All it does is have two little lights that blink, one regularly <laughs> to indicate, yes, this is on, the other one kind of uh, intermittently to simulate data transfer. Wow. But it's not actually random, so anyone who looked at it for like about eight seconds would realize it's just screwing with them. Yup. <laughs> That's awesome. Yup. So anyway, good afternoon, Internet. It is 2.11 p.m. on Saturday, February 3rd, 4th, 4th, 2017, and this is Early Throne Special. Yay. Uh, I'm your host, Mark Amstrad, DJ Amstrad. Today we have Brendan Mabry Daniel, and we are going to be continuing the Blackwell Legacy. Uh, More... Spoopy noir detective ghosts. I can move my hand too and other ghosts. Each. All the ghosts. Each ghost. Sending them to the other side. Ghost! Ghost! Because. <laughs> ghost! <laughs> a Luigi board? <laughs> can you burn a Luigi board? This is the same joke from last time. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's 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 a funny thing, though. It's, it's a great video. You're a great video. Aw, thank you. I think. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I I can't think of any way in which that could be an insult. So, uh, anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Last time we uh, we found and sent the ghost of a girl who was who was friends with uh, a girl who killed herself. That uh, our uh, boss sent us to write a story on because we're a journalist. A ghost journalist. A ghost journalist. No, not really. Uh, uh, my <clears throat> nose. We're a reporter uh, with a ghost she, detective pet. Yeah, she, she and her friends had been messing with a Luigi board <laughs> and had managed to summon this really creepy bad guy named the Deacon, and this is not appearing on that screen at all. Oh, but what the f? Oh, that's a movie part. Oh, Man, okay. Good. Daniel, fix it. Uh, I'll try killing it. No, please don't. Oh, okay. How about screeching it? No, the, that's, even that's less just so. Just as bad. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now. Uh, that thing is there. Let's, uh... If the microphone caught my inhaling sound. <laughs> oh! Oh, there we go. Now Hello. it's... Yay, now it's working. we are live! What'd we do? I'm not sure. God dang it. You fixed it. Good job, Daniel! Yay! Yay! <laughs> I threatened to screech at him and he got scared. Hey, Joey. Remind me of what we're doing. Um. I think Any idea who the Pushkin might be? No, no idea. idea. Although, Although, he must, he be, must be, a be a pretty formidable, formidable fellow, fellow considering, considering what's been going on. Okay, so we have to deal with the Deacon now, I think. Uh, is what's left to do. Yeah, we need... Deacon and Luigi. Try, Luigi try sleeping. Well, well, judging, judging from, from that, that silly doodle, doodle you're carrying, carrying around, around, I'd say he was Susan's, Susan's boyfriend. boyfriend. You think he's involved? Anything's possible. We already know, and yet, um, what, what? I think I've heard. Where are those questions still available? Yeah, let's yeah, get going. Because, be, because I have to ask somebody about them, probably. We, we already resolved Susan's keys. Did we though? Do some ret. Do some research. No, I already researched all this stuff, I think. Did you research uh, Deacon and Luigi? Yes. I think so. That's, That's too, too common, common a word. word. Whoever, Whoever the Deacon, deacon is, is, I don't, I don't think, think I'll find him this way. Luigi. Okay, we only have so many places we can go. Do we really think there's anything here? Probably not. Unless well, it'll let us go into the bedroom now. Yeah, try I'm the bedroom. Bed well, nope. okay, if she's not ready for bed. Alright. Oh, wait, sorry, I was thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, you sure, should yeah. tell Susan that what's her name's been uh, sent into the great beyond. Hmm. See if that does anything. That's not a bad idea. I mean, it might not, you know, 
It is the only other place that I can go, so. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, Toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night. That's right, yeah. She's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. Alright, so. We're gonna need to mess with the fuse. To get the guard, but we need to get the. You need key a key first. to open it. You need a key to open. Your mom needs a key to open it. Dude. Really, anyone would. Sometimes need words hurt, key. Daniel. Sometimes words hurt. Really, really, anyone would. You'll need, need him to make a distraction. It's got a lot. Some, Some small, small keys. keys. One, of, One them of them is labeled, labeled FB. FB. I assume, I assume that means fuse box. box. Nah, I'm pretty certain someone's Facebook password. Invisible. Mess form. with the radio. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Okay. Jojo, shh. You want to start a riot? riot? Keep your yap yeah, shut, shut until we're alone. Yeah, Talk to the oh. guard. Joey, come back over here. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I need I to need speak to, to Susan, Susan Lee. Lee. Can, Can I, I see, see her? her? Visiting, Visiting hours are over, over with this. this. She's probably, She's probably sleeping, sleeping by now. now. Okay. Buddy, so where did you get all those rashes? Thanks. Thanks. Alright, so if you go into the corner, you can talk to Joey. And then you can ask yeah. him about making a decision. But I noticed that when, when Joey came over here, the, the radio started futzing up. Yeah. So. Some, Some small, small keys. keys. Aw, oh, dang it. One of them is labeled FB. FB. Fuse box key? key? I could, I could probably, probably do something, something with this. Did, did she take it? No, I don't think so. Oh, she did! Yes! Ha! Nicely done. I figured that was probably the distraction I needed. That You're the distraction... Never mind. Oops. The distraction was a venue all along. Yeah. You got okay. a fuse. Run, run, run! Now you've you done it. it. You better, you better find, find a place, place to hide, hide quick. quick. The sign, the sign says, says I'm not allowed back, back there. there. So? Hide in the, the corner. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, you stop me. me. You better leave me. I can't, I can't be held by a for your safety until the lights, lights are repaired. I'll get, I'll get the, the elevator, elevator for, you. for you. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to do this all over again. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we already have the key. Yep. Yes. Go anything. I, I hope, hope you, you know, know what you're, you're doing, doing doll. You you Quickly. Whew. Okay. Run, run, run. End away. Or <laughs> adventure game <laughs> run. Around the corner. Whew. Yep, she's, she's asleep. asleep. Yeah, yeah, like, like a, a baby. baby. It won't, it won't be, long. be long. Before, Before what? what? Before, Before that. that. Oh, that's. Oh, nope. Please. Please. Can't you help, help me? me? Oh. Please. Oh. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please. Well, before that last bit, you're the only one. I thought, Please. is he playing an adventure game too? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Please, wake, wake up, up and help, help me. Well then. Subtle interjection. <clears throat> Ignore those, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please. More forceful interjection. Hey. Ignore those, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please. I'm talking, I'm talking to you, to you clown, clown shoes. You're talking to me? Yeah, yeah. So, so can you can calm, you calm down, down long, long enough to tell me what's going, going on? on? I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just, just a, a goddamn God damn minute. minute. You know you you're know dead? dead? Yes. yes. Well, that well, certainly saves time. time. We can, we can help, help you. 
Here, Here grab, grab a hold of this. this. No. no! Get that, that away from me! What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't want to. You don't want to? No. I'm afraid. Oh, oh, you're, you're afraid, afraid, are you? Are you? you believe, believe this, guy? this guy? Why does he have a ghost flask? What do you want? Safety. 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 It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Watching. Trying, Trying to take, to take me. me. But it hasn't gone yet. Not yet. Yeah, yeah whatever. whatever. This, this guy's guy off is nut. nut. Let me, Let me handle, handle this baby, baby doll. doll. I know, I how, know to how to speak, speak to spooks, spooks like this. Like what, what hasn't has caught, caught you? It. 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 I see yeah, that's it a everywhere. scary book. And every shadow. Stupid <laughs> clown. And every <laughs> spider. Why Thing. is it after you? Why? Why? The, the soft, soft touch, touch ain't gonna cut, cut it, sweetheart. sweetheart. You're too green. green. Let me show you how it's done. It's green. Sure. sure. Do it, Do it your, your way. way. All right, All right Mac. Mac. Spill. Spill. You've, You've scared, scared these girls, girls literally to death. death. I want to know why. why. What are you what so, are you afraid, so of? afraid of? I, I, I don't, don't want to burn. Burn? burn. Oh, oh, I, I get, get it. it. You think, you think you're, going you're going to hell? To hell. To death death he told me. Please don't, don't make me go. You're scared, scared of the devil, huh? Yes. Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just, just you and me. me. And you know, you know what? what? I'm, I'm worse than, than any devil you'll ever see. see. Hey! I've been, I've been doing, doing this for 40, 40 years, years bucko. bucko. Every, Every ghost, ghost I meet goes, goes to their final rest, rest one way or, or the other. other. You're, You're scared? scared? I don't give I don't a rat's, rat's ass. ass. Two, people Two people are dead, dead because, because of you. you. So take, take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn! Please! Wow. Go slap! Ghost punch. Ghosts aren't supposed, supposed to feel pain, pain but, but I've learned some tricks. tricks. Now, now take, take the, the damn, damn time. time. Joey, Joey, stop it. Give her a chance. You want to handle, handle this? this? Go, Go right, right ahead. ahead. Let's, Let's see, see you do any better. better. Talk about running. You can't, you can't keep, keep going, going on, on like this. this. It's better than burning. Uh huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you had your shot. Now it's my turn. So, so, are we going to do, do this the easy, easy way? way? Or the Play the guilt way? card. Please! No! What are you going to do to me? Please don't make, make it get, get me. me! I don't, don't want to go to hell! Hell, hell smell. smell. You want to stop, stop talking talk crap? crap? Hey, hey stop. stop! Let me talk, talk to him, okay? You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. <laughs> you think you got back up? <laughs> you, killed you killed two, two people. people. Almost, Almost killed, killed a third. third. Doesn't, Doesn't that mean, that mean anything, anything to you? you? They, they called call me. me. Why, Why would they, they call, call if they, they couldn't could help me? me? Yeah, that, yeah, that didn't, didn't work. work. I'm taking uh, over. Joey, I don't believe in hell, buddy. buddy. But you but have you two have choices. choices. The, the slight, slight possibility of an eternal torture in hell. Or the, or the dead, dead certainty, certainty of an eternal, eternal torture, torture by, by me. me. But, but you can't. Sure, sure I can. can. You gonna you stop, stop me? me? Make, your, Make your, choice. your choice. Wrong, Wrong answer. answer. <laughs> You're hurting him, Joey. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's idea. the idea. You got, you got any, any better, better ones? ones? Let, Let me, me talk, talk to him. I guess... You wanna you handle, handle this? this? Yeah. There's one choice left. Let's see you do any better. I know, I know a safe, a safe place. place. You can, you can hide, hide there. there. Really? Where is it? Not, Not far, far, but you'll but have, you'll to, have trust to trust us. us. Trust you? Why, Why should, should I, I trust, trust you? you? Because um. nobody else will help? Hmm. Yeah. Because, because nobody, nobody else has offered to help, help you before, before. right? right. Yeah. You, ask you ask and ask, and ask for, for help, help, but nobody, nobody answers, answers, right? No. Nobody, nobody answers. answers. Well, we, well have. we have. We're gonna, We're gonna help, help you. you. 
Has anybody else, else said the same? same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. It needs to be done. Just listen to my friend. Here, Here just, just take the, take the time. time. You know, you what, know to what to do. do. I can't, can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. Ow. You're right. I feel you. Are you Are ready? ready? Yes. I really I think, think so. It's really it's nice to see you here. Almost all. Awesome. Welp! No! You lied to me! What? It's here! You lied! What's that? Oh, shirts and pants! Joey! Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away! Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through. Accept the punishments, punishments for your, your sins, sins and to call with me. Help me, please. please. You, you brought me here. You have you to have save me. me. You, you have, have to. to. Fool, no one no wants saving you now. I'll give, I'll give you, you a moment, moment to, prepare to prepare for the eternity to come. To come. But then, then you, you are mine. Yeah. Save. Mm. Can't, can we? Can't right here. Oh well. This is not, not happening. happening. Please! You've got to do something! That wasn't a useful choice. Okay, so... Hey, you have a rock. Awesome. Uh -huh. I think you picked that up. Uh, save. <coughs> Come on. Oh, I uh, turned it off. Wait, what? What's going on? It's not actually letting you save. That's a problem. Try cancel. No! We crashed. Did the game seriously freeze? We crashed! Wow. That's unfortunate. Yep. When was the last auto save? I don't know. Well, I mean, the good thing is that we haven't actually been playing that one. Tab in and out, does that help? Nope. Nope. Okay. That didn't work. Well then. Sorry about that. It's task. We'll launch again. Would you grab me another drink, please, Daniel? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay, I'll tab in and out since I said before. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Plop. Auto save. Where is that? Okay, that. Yeah. I hope you know what you're doing, doll. You better find a place to hide, quick. Whoa, you startled me. Oh, come on, really? Miss. I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are get the other. Man. I'll try that again. Weak source.
Because the music art's a little dim. Not too bad. Um. Okay, go. What? What? He. Uh. This game is glitching out on us. No. Wow. Joey, could you do that little trick one more time? Oh. Um. Thanks. Uh Okay. This is certainly getting on. Uh, Alright, and let's just hang out here for a minute. Mm-hmm. And actually wait for him to pass by. Yeah. Because that the door is door opening opens, way before he gets door. there. Um Whoa. Are you still what? here? Yeah. A bit of weakness. With the lights going off like this, I can't be held responsible for your safety. He's not even I'll get in the, the room. For you. What happened is that his progress to that is okay. invisible right Whoa, now. You startled I hate to say this, but I think. <laughs> I can't be held liable what? for your safety. We may want to quit and restart the game. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't think the game will be necessary, but. Oh! Never mind! The game <laughs> crashed! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so not loading from that autosave again. Yeah, that autosave. That, that autosave is naughty. Oh, no. So are you going to talk to it about what it did? Um, computer? Are you serious? No. What? Just... Everything is borked now. Mm. Now, I don't think any of us are, you know, a blue-white star. Um, wait, uh, O-Class? What? I'm saying I'm not serious. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Borf Star. I will try not all quite so soon this time. And there we go. So far, so good. Load game. Load from that one. Ezorcism. Which means we have to get the key again, but we can manage it. Are you coming? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. We need a plan to deal with that demon. Presumably involving a cobblestone. Mm-hmm. Please be advised as visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. I don't know if he'll improve stability or not, but, uh, like, if you go up to the radio and he does the Seneca thing, and then you go around the corner and talk to him, that might help. Wait, what? If you talk to Joey after he causes his radio static, it'll explain that he causes radio static. Okay. No. Okay. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. Oh, as well or you move this guy down. Hopefully that won't cause instability. Because that might have been a slight sequence break. It's okay. Try talking to him. Yeah, try talking to him in the corner anyway. Joey, come here a sec. Yeah? As he walks away. What happened with that radio? 
What do you mean? When you got near the radio, the signal got interrupted. Was that you? Yeah. How do you do it? No idea. Although your aunt never let me get near the TV during days of our lives. <laughs> I'm sure there's some scientific explanation, but I have no way of knowing, frankly, who the heck could we ask. That's all for now. Right, right. Uh, Dr. Egon Spangler? You know. Hit. Save. But the liquor store guy, he, he knew. knew. I don't think that'd It's from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Ah. Now you've done it. You better find it. And somewhat relevant in that also noir detective. Oh, come on! <laughs> like really? You're too early, dude. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm sure that's a problem she's had with lots of guys. Too soon, Rosalind. Oh, Rosalind. no. Too soon. I hope you knew it. Why doesn't she use a long stride when she needs to get somewhere quickly? Right. There, you go. I don't think that looks like it helps. It does in some games. I don't care that this is apparently not one of She's them. She's asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. Please, please, hey, please. I don't know if I don't sleep. Please, please. Hey! Ignore them, Susan. Listen, I'm talking. You're. Yeah, so can you calm down long enough? To... I... You're like. What do you mean? Dead! Wait a minute. Just. You know you're. Yes! Well, that's. We can help. Here, grab a hold of this. No! What the? You need. I... What are you. You're. No! You don't. No! Oh. You believe this guy? What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Try the... But it hasn't come. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. What hasn't caught you? It. I said every shit. What? The soft YouTube... Who is after you? It. Haven't you ever seen him? Forget it, kid. He isn't listening. We're wasting our time. He knows he's dead. We don't need kid gloves to handle this. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. You scared these girls. What are you so... I... Burn. Uh-oh. You think you're... The devil. Please don't... You're... Yeah! Yeah, well, there's just you, and you know what? Hey! I've been doing this for every go... You're scared? Two people are... So take... No! Oh, don't make me burn! <laughs> Hurts, don't. Oh. Ghost starts now. Joey's. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You act. No. Well, we were good. Has any. No, I. Well, if you. What? You just listen. Here, just take the time. You know what to do. Can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. Are you ready? Yes. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. No! You lied! What? It's, it's here! What's that? Oh, crap! 
Joey? Joey, get me out of here. Stay away. Stay away. There is nowhere to go. You cannot return. You can all accept the punishments. Help me. Please. You brought me here. You have to save me. Fool, I'll give you a moment to prepare. It's crying. What is that thing? It's come to take me to hell. Just like it always said it would. Save again. Demon. <coughs> Maybe Satan? Really? Maybe that wind sound blows and it crashes. Maybe maybe we don't save here. Does that mean that we want to change some of the sound stuff? And see if that might I, take some of the pressure off? I, I feel like it's probably just being in the menu. Like some kind of weird thing. Like some sort of timed thing is happening and by being in the menu it's confusing the crap out of it. Mm-hmm. So, ugh. Well, let's oh, yeah, stop trying to save. Yeah. It doesn't take that long to go through it all again. And we've had to do it like three times now anyway. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Glitch again. So glitch. But yeah, so I get the feeling you don't need to worry about saving me, actually. I don't get why he calls them clown shoes, considering there's no feet. Just you. Yeah, last week and a Here, maybe his clown that. shoes of the world. They're the biggest clown shoes. <laughs> maybe he can see the full figure of it. Oh, maybe. What do you say, it's Charlie? Not What? What? I mean, what? Who is it? I think Frick would be. Let me. All right, you. What are you? I burn. Oh, you. You have to. You. Uh, here's two. Go, Nacho. You wanna go, Lynn? I know what you were. No, but... <laughs> Trust what? Because no, Brian. You had just here.
How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Yes. Yes? You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. Ask about the flask. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. What is that thing? I don't know. It haunted my dreams when I was alive and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now there's no place left to run. Ask about help. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. Why can you ask about the flask again? What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah. Nothing. It's just a used to keep whisk. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, uh, excuse me. Converse. I shall keep on that. Newts. The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his flask. Really? Could this be symbolic? No! Get rid of that flask. Drop it! Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't. Why not? Because it, it's my flask. You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one, but they still take this place. That is not enough to save you. Smash the flash with the stone. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. With a rock. My claim on you, dead one is gone. Move on in peace and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time. It's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died killed themselves because of me. Hmm. Uh, uh analyze. analyze him. And what do you think about that? I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. But that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk. And most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now. Now that I know I might deserve it. Observant response. You seem strangely happy about it. I'm just happy to know. You see, I was a religious man once. Before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye. Thanks. 
Jesus Christ, Kim, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. Outside. Tons of air. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. Just glad you're okay. Hmm. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Uh, you. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. End of day. Wait, wait, what? really? What? That was shorter than I thought it was going to be. I can only assume this is the first of a series. Oh yeah, yeah, there are several games in this series. Huh. I forget which one is next. I'm going to have to look that up. Huh. The Blackwell Sandwich. Okay. The Blackwell Road History. But yeah, I, I kind of expected these to be longer than hmm. they are. I mean, that was like, what, three and a half hours? Like uh, th yeah. That's like an hour and 45 per ghost. So I concur if it case. Is there a lesson? I don't hear one. the demon Gilbert. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Bob. Duh, the cutie crew. Scott. Let's <laughs> see the quotes. Huh? Special what? activation code? What the heck's that? I don't know. What activation code? Why is there a code? I don't know. There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help them. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. Okay, uh, which one is next? Because I don't remember. Daniel? I don't know either. Yes, but you are the one who researches these things at a moment's notice when we need it. 
your job to know things, Daniel. Blackwell One Legacy, Blackwell Unbound, the Blackwell Deception. Okay, Unbound is the next one. Not a clue. Oh. The Blackwell Epiphany. What order? Are... Oh, there's numbers for iOS anyway. Uh, Blackwell Two Unbound, Blackwell Three Convergence, okay. Blackwell Four Deception, Blackwell Five Epiphany. Okay, so Blackwell Unbound is the next one. PC Blackwell Trilogy Remastered. Uh. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist? What the hell? What? <laughs> Starcraft 2, Legacy of the Void. Zoids Legacy. <laughs> Might and Magic 10, Legacy. Dragon Ball Z, the Legacy of Goku 2. These are only related by a word. Rogue Legacy. Uh, Obsidian Legacy, but misspelled. <laughs> Mega Man Legacy Connection. Collection. Neglection? What? I actually said connection, I meant. No one said anything less but you. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, I need to find a new graphic for the stream. Because. To do Blackwell, Blackwell Unbound title. Smack you in the butt. Yeah, it's unbound. Unbound, convergence, deception, it's Images. Uh, da, 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 maybe that one. Conveniently, the last three are in alphabetical order. <laughs> CD. What the heck is that code for? I don't know. Probably for playing the game differently a second time. Perhaps. I didn't see a place to put it when we started. It's probably because it can tell that we haven't played before. Uh, da, 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 da. I am not really finding. What? Let's just try dropping that. One of my says, also, Rick Priest, you could have saved him. What? I thought smashing the flask did. Yeah. I, huh? Hmm. Maybe if you want the hopeful response for it? And, like, maybe if you examine the flask before you're trashing it? Maybe. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay, that should be a good one. Oh shoot, what'd the code call itself? Bright eyes? No, I know what it, I know what it was. What Ac it activation itself? code? Activation code. Activation code. Explain yourself. Options? Okay. Options so special. Enter one. activation code, bright eyes. Unlocks the ability ah. to listen to voice acting bloopers. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it does. I'll check that out later. Yeah, we did smash it, Lord Bobbery. Yep, yeah, we shattered it in the dust. With so a rock. Media file. Where is the file that I just saved? It is not there. What the heck? Oh no, when they're talking about the lesson, they're talking about what happened to her aunt. Oh, I saved it in the wrong folder. She stops uh, the ghost detective activity mm. to take care of Rosangela. And uh, apparently went into a weird coma as punishment for dereliction of duty. <laughs> That's all I can guess. Blackwell Unbound. That's pretty cool. Blackwell After Dark. <laughs> Frequently After Dark. That's when it goes around. Yep.
You know, he's derping around, yelling things, moaning, screaming. Stupid ghost stuff, you know. Perfect. Okay, now just have to get the game to capture. Darn it. If I'd been a little quicker on the what the heck does this code do, we could have done that. I'm sure the audience would be amused by the bloopers. Well, I mean, we still could. It's not like I've uninstalled the game. <laughs> It'll be easier. If you weren't. Easier and quicker to get that up and running than it is to get a new game up and running. Okay, that's it. I'll go through the game to find each player. Oh. Is Oh, whoops. No, I derped. Oh, I, okay, I, okay. I I I don't I have to redo it. Cuz I'm a derp. You also play In that case that won't be any faster. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, we just want to show the the, the blooper doopers. Super de duper doopers. <laughs> Blooper dooper. Okay. Again. To scoot, wiggle, and stretch. There. And belch. No. No belch. Options. Special. Joey is such a ghost. La la la. I'm Joey. I'm such a ghost. It's really incredible exactly how much of a ghost I am. Okay. Sorry. There are no Joannes on the guest list. Excuse me. I was, uh, having some, uh, pasta for lunch here, and, uh... Please, can't I go past? Please. Please, can't I go past? Oh. I've a little voice. <laughs> That's adorable! A box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. Mm. I stood on the steps of Burgess's fish shop and explained it to the supposed to do that before you do it. You know, it's your blah blah blah. Oh, that's right. Warm up. The steps of Burgess's fish. Of mixed biscuits. All right. Although you're on through a fit. Ah! <laughs> Although you're on. One, two, three. Silence. I don't need to touch it. I know these plants are fake. They're fine where they are. I love that all of these are just indicating stop touching that. <laughs> stop clicking on that. Yeah. Nobody gets pet. I need to breathe more. Where are my levels, my levels, my levels? Yeah, wasn't it? Okay. My name is Ava Goldfarb. Uh, I'm a professional actor. <laughs> actually, this, I, I'm enjoying, I'm getting paid a lot. Um, <laughs> I actually get, I get $30 a word. Uh, <laughs> if the word is saucy. And there is some saucy verbiage in this. Let, this is as loud as I'm going to talk. This is as loud as I'm going to talk. Man, oh man, these tests. It's pure, pure gold. Huh. Well, you probably had the right idea. Uh, That's a little, that was too heightened, I think. Let me do it again. When you do this, can you actually laugh at it? Which one? Ah. Like a uh, teddy bear? Oh, 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 yeah. oh. She ain't nervous. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Making fluff all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> um, I live here. No, you don't. What do you care? I can't let you in unless you tell me. I know everybody in the building, and I don't know you. Do, do, do. Lost my place on the script. Hold on. I'm getting to it. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you have? I think she's a dyke. She's, she's attracted to Rosa. <laughs> Feeling. It's my motivation. <laughs> it's your motivation. <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. It's something. 
something. She's a predatory uh, <laughs> sex fiend. <laughs> That's something I was considering. But you never know, all right? Ghost schmoes, get over here. Oh, man. Um, um, wow. No, it's not. Really disturbed now. Don't feel disturbed. <laughs> all right, next. Hovering over your aunt's shoulder, staring at the ceiling. All right, let's try that one again, motherfucker. Oh! <laughs> That was fucking perfect. Oh, okay, so. Sorry. Sorry. Right on. These are bad language words. Maybe we should I sing every line. Maybe As we should. a black lady gospel singer, which inside is kind of disturbing. Maybe we should just sing every line. 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 Maybe Oh, to, it's to her. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I thought it was my motive. Okay. Let's take care of you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Good old lady. Dorothy. Yeah, gave the wrong name. Sorry. <laughs> oh, way to pull that one out of your ass. <laughs> Almost started laughing. Did you see the look on that dumb mutt's face? <laughs> I thought he was gonna wet himself. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great little snicker. I love that. Right, That's for Joey. <laughs> okay. It's the Joey Snicker. They call them Joey Snickers. <laughs> Now that Dave Gilbert has finished his phone call, we can continue making the game. <laughs> yes. Actually, I did think it, but I wasn't going to say it, because I was going to get through this like a pro. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Fart all over this mic. Consummate professionalism. Consummate. All right. The little Joey. No more Joey. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, no more joy for you. <laughs> what? Alright, All right, we're done. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> It's all right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. He's a sexy ghost bitch. <laughs> uh, okay. Mix it in. Sometimes it's sharp cheddar, sometimes it's something a little more spicy. Fantastic. All right. Picante. <clears throat> Truly picante. <laughs> now then, back to work. A what? Okay. Shake it out. <clears throat> All right. Uh, excuse me. 
so well. Thank you very much. That's I method. Yeah. Had a waffle earlier just to get it right. <laughs> a waffle? Was she texting over the world? She not too much. What? 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 <laughs> it's like I wrote he, but I wasn't expecting it quite like that. <laughs> that. That's not what you wanted that, but I don't know. That was awesome. <laughs> I don't just do this full time, you know. I like to sing. On the good ship, Lolly takes a sea trip to a candy shop where the bonbons play on the sunny beach of Peppermint Bay. Lemonade stands everywhere across the dead expanse. Belly here, and there you are. Happy landing on a chocolate bar. Yeah. What I'd really like to do is direct. Jeez, there's a lot of these. Nothing. Uh, okay, have you ever, like, played one of those girls, like, girl games where a guy asks you what's wrong mm -hmm. and you say nothing when there really is something wrong? I know you've done it. I just did it right there. I'm talking to you, clown shoes. Let me give you another one. I'm talking to you, jackhole. I'm talking to you, douchebag. All right, wait, let me give you another douchebag. I giggled at the end. I'm talking to you, douchebag. <coughs> I'm talking to you, wad. <laughs> I'm, wait, I'm talking to you, potato head. I'm talking to you, spud head. All right. Let's get out of that giant clown shoes. There's a couple of readings of it. Yeah. I mean, one of them is, huh, you know, I mean, I could say goodbye to all this and not, I mean, one of them is the fatalistic answer. Yeah. And the other one is, my life has a purpose and I should pursue it. You know what I mean? There's, there's two ways to read it. I mean, what was your, what was your intention? Yeah, I thought it was like, this is what Yeah. 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 This is your life. Yeah. For me, it's like you know what I mean. She's got a calling. It's a noble calling, and she's a good person. And it's it's a purpose, you know. Yeah. Right on. Absolutely. It's a porpoise. Oh yeah, I mean you can you can read this either as uh, you know sort of a dead end or as you know the possibility of a new philosophy of life. <clears throat> okay, let's try it again. You're him. It doesn't work for some reason. Be him. I don't want to look at you. Glory, glory, glory. Now I'm trying to figure. There's a beautiful scene from Buffy. <laughs> so. Okay. Oh. You know, a lot of people use Buffy, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was a proper scroll bar and not scroll buttons. Yeah. Then we would know. Whoa. 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 It, you know, it's really funny how that word loses all meaning when you've said it about 800 times. Oh, that's the end of it. Okay. 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 It also needed, like, a player bar so you could see when the clip was about to end. Yeah. You need a player bar. Bar, I don't know. Okay, let's sound up in here. Let's break loose. <clears throat> that that's not quite what I meant. Shatter the chains. Blackwell. Like, why just break them when you can like splinter them and start and send them flying? Wedge it. Oh boy, this one appears to be in a. Oh no, wait, I think it's stretched a bit. Did you stretch it? I think it, it stretched itself. Actually, it doesn't look too stretched. Maybe a little stretched. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. So, just me or does Rosa oh, look like younger? <laughs> she looks like they're younger, or like she had a haircut. I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm just drawing it a different style. Very slightly different. Uh, could you hand me the glasses. TV remote? Yeah. The further one. That's the cat remote that's near you. <laughs> so far away. <laughs> hand me the cat remote. You're the cat remote. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I'll do anything. I don't see any cats. Hum. Well, that. Okay, well, I think that's... It actually looks like it's... Yeah, it, it it's just... We are losing a tiny bit of the bottom of the... Mm. Bottom of the screen there. Mm. And, and possibly top. a little bit of the top. And none of it's showing up on the couch again. No. Oh, uh... Sorry for the technical difficulties, folks. We didn't realize we were going to be switching... We've already taken care of this. Yep. Yarp. Okay, well, this will... Can... I believe you can have this thing save profiles, and yeah, I can just like save the profile to the text file and switch it out. Yep. But we didn't realize the game was about to end. Mm-hmm. And there seem to be no cats around her. Okay, I seem to recall having this problem with the game last time. But I don't remember how I solved it. Crap. Let me see... Uh, oh wait, I think I remember now. Uh, local files, browse local files. Bring that over here. Yeah, I think this is what I want to do. Yeah, this is what I want to do. Okay. Uh, Forex. Do smooth sprites, side borders and widescreen monitors. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the rest of that should be fine, I think. Advanced. <laughs> Okay, that should hopefully take care of it. Well and subtly played, artists. Well and subtly played. Who what? Nothing. There it is. Ah, uh, that's much better. Would you did you WI? Would would you did Source, game, game meh, still not there. Click back into there, click around in here. Sources, there it is. Technical difficulties dance. Minor technical difficulties dance. Minor technical difficulties. Right <laughs> Something really weird. <laughs> I Dif don't say <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> I think is what you said. The two words merged in a food processor. The a result food is horrible mess. To difficulties. And, and I cool. to the console and it hurt. Ow. Would, would 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 you grab me another drink, please? Or a cherry cola this time. Under no circumstances. Brendan. Yeah. Did you tell Mark what you chose his show over? Oh, yeah. A uh, buddy of mine was doing a podcast on Hamilton, and I was like, well, I've already got stuff to do today. Ah. Uh, oh, well, no. thank you. <laughs> Thanks. But I think it's like a. You have drink readers. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yep. But in case those are depleted, which they seem to not be, never mind. Urgh. 
This is my second, so I probably should stop after that. <laughs> All right, let us new game. Let us new game. In-game instructions, maybe. Yeah. In addition to on-screen <laughs> instructions, you can click new. Infinity. I've been told it's beautiful, but I don't think it's anything special. What is? But when you live like me, most things become quite ordinary. Life, death, tormented souls. I think souls. this might be her aunt. It's all the same to me. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if anything will ever surprise me again. Sometimes I wonder if I even care. That or she's picked up some bad habits. Yeah. And lost her glasses. It didn't say rain, it said Regin. Oh. Yep, 1973. Yep. Yep, it's a prequel. Well, that ended suddenly. It's a prequel. It's stay out. Oh, hey, you know I don't like that. What's your beef, anyway? I am not talking to you. Oh, promises, yeah. promises. So, what's next on the list? What's next? The balcony. Why? Well, gonna throw yourself over and join me? No. I'm having a cigarette. Great. You want a cigarette. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever the hell you like. <laughs> you can float there like a saw. Just one. Then I can get on with this. I kind of figured. Absolutely not. Right now, nothing exists except for me and the cigarette. Hmm. Oh, that's different. What was that thing next year? Moving from this oh, spot. Oh, keyboard's off. Or no, it's not. You're off. From the... What was that thing next year? Tab key. Yeah. yeah, he's trying. Tab isn't working. Oh no. I'm sure, I can nurse this thing back to help. Just needs a little more time. Options. Help. Uh. Sub. Sub gum. Does it think that there are different keys than there actually are? I don't know. Why is Sam not working? This game appears to be very glitchy on your, uh. Particular. On your Steam Zings. Hmm. Maybe let me. Yeah, Alt Tab still works. Hmm. Uh, Daniel, see if you can find some help for this. Like anybody else saying that. That key isn't working. Enter. Shift. Press the tab button. This works I just took a screenshot. Whoa! Whoa! What did you hit? I hit tab. Why did that work suddenly? I'm better at this than you. I don't know. Were you hitting caps lock, Mark? No, I wasn't. Maybe Brendan just pressed it harder? Maybe. I don't know. You can also switch characters by pressing the J or L buttons on oh. the main interface. Okay, well, that's good to know, too. In case it, you know... Oh, yeah, Joey or Lord. Lack okay. Of cooperation again. Okay, uh, hold on. On the main interface, not the keyboard. Okay. You uh, try it now. Okay, good. That's weird. A pair of muddy boots. You're a pair of muddy boots. Man, that is an old coat. You're an old I coat. Think soldiers wore it during the Civil War. I think soldiers wore you during the Civil War. <laughs> what the heck? Jar. A 
jar stuffed with loose cash. Look how young she was. She's got to be 18, 19. It's been over 10 years. Time flies. Oh, look, it's her. Good old Patricia Blackwell, also known as Cleopatra, Queen of Denial. Spent seven months bonded to that woman. She never spoke to me once. That's Jack, her kid brother. He's all right, I guess. If I'd known I could be photographed, I would have shown my good side. Just a radio. I can't remember the last time she washed that thing. Oh, look! Another ashtray! Oh, look! Another ashtray! It's her phone. Tackiest thing I ever saw. That thing is deader than, well, me. Oh, look. It's the couch. Every night I get to watch her snore on that thing. Just another one of the many mugs that plague this place. She calls this thing a Polaroid. Takes pictures instantly. It's pretty amazing. It's her phone book. The local rag. I have no interest in that thing. Just an old doormat. It's covered in cigarette burns. You're an old doormat covered in cigarette burns. I don't know. An old rain bucket filled with cigarette butts. I ho the glamorous life. What does it say? Ash pail. Oh, okay. She's in one of her sulky moods. Hey, what? Apology. Because that's the nice thing to do. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Um. Exactly. So do you think the whole game is going to be from Lauren and Joey? Possibly. In the past? This guide says it's a prequel, so, um... Yep. Alright then. Why the heck are you so mad? You honestly don't know. I have no idea. Typical. If you don't know, I'm sure as hell I'm not going to tell you. Oh my that god. That won't help! She's... She's a lot of negative stereotypes there. Take another drag of that cigarette, darling. You get real ugly when you stop smoking. Oh? Is that right? Well... Ugly, am I? Take it easy, dear. It was just a little joke. A joke, yeah. I'm a riot. Like today, when those pipes burst. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is, is that what's got you in such a guff? I got soaked, and you just laughed. Well, it was funny. It was cold and wet and slimy. It wasn't funny. You should have seen the look on your face. The way you jumped up and down and ran in circles, squealing. <sighs> Still wasn't funny. If you say so. Okay, I'm finished. Let's get on with this. There's a few things we haven't checked, right? Yes, I've got the list right here. Well, let's check it. Every other case today has been a false alarm. Maybe this will be an easy night. Ugh. Every one of these leads has been a dead end. Just two more to go, and we can call it a night. This is Dead in case number one. I read about a grocer who was complaining about his stock mysteriously disappearing. Turned out to be a bunch of rats. Joey scared them half to death. Most fun I've had all year. And that was a waste of time. Didn't find any ghosts, and I got soaked. That woman was old, drunk, and senile. A total waste of time. This one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the promenade late at night. Nobody knows where it comes from. Did I just look up to Matt piping? <laughs> a development corporation has halted construction after a series of accidents. Probably nothing, but worth checking out. Probably old man Whitaker. 
Or Jenkins. It's usually old man Jenkins. This will probably be my last cigarette of the day. <laughs> Why is it in your inventory? I wish I could charge him rent. Let's talk to him. Yeah, doll? I'm still mad, you know. Keep it up, doll. I might start to believe you. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Lord Barbary says, Joey gets so little entertainment. Clumsy Robot recommends, talk to Joey some of the special things for this area, but I only play Gon. Damn. Radio signal can't get through. Can you move away a bit, Joey? Hey, we got stuff to do first. I'll let you listen to music later. Fine. Check in the refrigerator. Can't interact with the refridge. With, with the refridge? Got it. Okay. Look up, up. No. Look up. See more butts. There's no entry for that. Try to see. <laughs> see more butts. There's no entry for that. Oh. oh my god. You guys are so mature! <laughs> <laughs> Bell book and candle. Hey. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Yeah, let's check out the promenade. Hmm. Looks like another bus, Joey. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe not. Wait, you hear that? I think so. Let's get closer. Hey, look. It's a ghost saxophone. Oh. Ghost saxophone. Looks like our evening might not be a total wash after all. Ah! Nice tune. You write it yourself? Hey, mister. I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. Ugh, forget it. That's a pretty nice instrument you got there. Mind if I have a look? Hey, Mac, the name's Joey. Ah, the talkative sort, are we? Well, we'll soon sort that out. So, nice night, huh? Hey, do you feel restless? Like you've got somewhere to go but don't know where? It means you're dead, Mac. Can you even hear me? Pay attention, you fat chump. I'm talking. That's your idea of intimidating? Quiet, will ya? Hey, you got a cigarette? I could sure use one. Hey, do you know where the Guggenheim Museum is? The wife and I have been trying to find it all day. The wife? Shh. I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Guggenheim? Yeah, Guggenheim Museum. I was just a kid when they Daniel is, I think, wondering if there was actually a Guggenheim Museum. Where does yeah. the time go? Yep. Well, it's been a while since the 30s, Joey. City looks so peaceful and quiet tonight, you can almost forget that there are a million lost souls out there. Are they drowning in radiation? Or gamma rays? Or whatever that line is? Drowning in gamma another rays, night, I think. Another crazy spook. Hopefully this won't take too long. Queensboro Bridge and connects Manhattan to Queens. He's playing a saxophone. Totally in rapture. I don't even think he knows where he is. Oh. Try clicking on the first thing you saw. The saxophone? 
How am I supposed to do that? He's a ghost. I'm not. Hey, I'm talking, Buster. Hey! You let go! You greet him nicely? I'm Joey. Pleasure to meet you. I don't care who you are. Nobody interrupts my set. Just what are you doing here? What am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get away from me, man. I need to ask you a few questions first. Not now, man. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Get off the stage. Stage? Ah! Oh, that's how we treat your kind at Johnny Ivory's. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, we're dealing with a real sharp tack here. Okay, we may have to turn that thing off. Notebook updated! <laughs> that ghost mentioned Johnny Ivory's Blade connection. It's your yes. connection. How am I supposed to do that? He's a ghost. I'm not. No, no. Okay, fine. Uh. Well, let's check out the other place and then go back and look up Johnny Ivory's. Well, Post no this bills. Is it. Yep. All's quiet so far. Bill Stickers will be prosecuted. No, Bill Stickers. No Bill mm. Stickers is innocent. <laughs> I'll leave that where it is. I'll leave that where it is. I'll leave you where you are. I don't think whoa, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does that window way up there say exit? It's <laughs> just this entire <laughs> I know, side of the, the whole screen. Plane, but it looks like that. I have you to have climb the building to go through there to leave. <laughs> I realize not at this hour. 53rd Street and Lexington Avenue. A thick wooden wall enclosing the construction site. Closed, locked, and barred. I'm not getting in this way. You're not getting in this way. But... Alright, I'm going in to check it out. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, sure. Let me know what you find. Hello? Anyone here? Ah. Well, what do you see? Is it clean? I'm afraid not. Well, hurry up then. I feel stupid pressed up against this wall. Yeah, let's turn off the... If we can. Maybe it's under the help menu. They um, want to fight? I'll give them one. Next way encounter room? Where else can Next I go? Next encounter room? Oh, wait. No, that's oh, something that's else. Yeah, whatever. I should save anyway. Where else can I go? Where she else looks middle aged, but it's hard to tell in her current state. Like most ghosts, she doesn't seem to be aware of her surroundings. Looks like a foreman's trailer. They're trying to get rid of me, will they? Hey there. Huh? Could someone be there? Of course not. No one would be so rude as to enter without knocking. Hey, lady. I'm talking to you. No, the door is closed. Nobody is there. Only way in is if I open the door. And to do that, he'd have to knock. Um, knock knock? What? Okay. <sighs> Nobody is there. The door is still closed and bolted. <sighs> I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. Where else can I go? What do you want me to do? Scare it? Yeah, scare the fan. 
Just a bunch of drawers. Cheap material. I want nothing to do with it. It says Seagram Realty. I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. Let's take a look-see. Dear Mr. Foreman, I was hoping you could help me. I have tried speaking to your boss, but he ignores my calls. The agreement, I believe, was $230 a month for five years. However, since the move, I have only been receiving $225 a month. Can you please send someone with the $60 I'm entitled to? I'd come myself, but it's hard for me to get around these days. Mrs. Harriet Sherman. This lady is upset because she's been stiffed five bucks a month. My guess is that she's not too happy with the foreman. Harriet Sherman. I have no idea who she is, but any lead is a good lead. Hey, cool. Uh, could you make note of Harriet Sherman? I think it already has. Oh yeah, you're probably right. It's probably in the notes. Oh, excuse me. We possibly just need to like, talk to Lauren. And I, I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. And then it'll be in the notes. Oh, look, an ashtray. Maybe the kid should get a job here. I can see that spirit pacing back and forth out there. Hmm. The name under the picture is Farrah Fawcett. I wonder if she likes dead guys. Hmm. Is that a joke? Was she in a movie of ghosts? I don't think so. Hey, wait, there's... Oh, well, it's... Of course, it's muddy. It's a cons construction office. Never mind. I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. This is filthy. Hey, Lauren. Got some information. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? How's it going on the outside? Oh, it's a thrill a minute out here. Like a day at the circus. Miss me? Yeah, sure. Like I miss toe fungus. I need you to do something. What? <laughs> Knock on the gate door. Knock on the door? Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. A knock. Oh my! A visitor! Uh, just a minute! Is my hair okay? It'll have to do. Hello? Hello, miss. Hello. Can I help you? I'm Joey Malone, miss. Well, Mr. Malone, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm a bit lost. Can you tell me where I am? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Are you looking for a specific apartment or... Apartment? You mean we're inside a building? Yes. Are you feeling all right, mister? Not in a building, lady. Take a look around. Ask for I don't know name. what you're talking about. We're on the third floor. Look, there's the elevator down the hall. Ah, right. Yeah, I see it. Are you sure you're feeling all right? Uh, ask her name. What's your name? Excuse me? Your name? My name is on the door. If you don't know who I am, then why are you here? I have something to tell you. Oh? There's no delicate way to put this. You're dead. Pardon me? Dead and buried. You're a ghost haunting a wasteland. You're on balance. Tell me what you want before I call the police. You're not in a building, lady. What are you talking about? We're on the ground. We're outside. You, sir, need glasses. Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? Ooh, ooh, hold on. Gas man and the beef. Gas man. <laughs> no. I Gas man or census taker? taker. Hmm. It's 
senses taken. Yeah, that seems like a good way to get her name. Here, take your senses. I'm with the Census Bureau, and I have to ask you a couple of questions. Where's your clipboard? Excuse me? I thought all census tickets needed a clipboard. Ah, no. Not anymore. Cut mess. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. Well then. I have something unfortunate to tell you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about that. Hello out there. Let's go fly to where did that. What are you doing in there? I need you to do something. Hmm. It better be good. <laughs> Should we do the joke thingies? Sure. Do a little dance. What? Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. Okay. Chu is such what a jerk. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> such a jerk! <laughs> you son of an arse! Joey, what are you doing in there? I need you to do something. Hmm. It better be good. I need you to knock on the gate again. Sir. Another visitor? Uh, you again. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? Neighbor? I'm the gas man, I'm here to fart! Yeah, try gas man. I'm with the She would gas presumably man. recognize her neighbors. I'm sent to check her apartment for lease. Didn't you come this morning? Yes, you did. You found nothing, and you charged me a fortune. That must have been someone else. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told yeah, you I think all we need to be the landlord. I'm not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. Where else can I go? Sure. Look, found nothing in charge, sure. Hello out there. Jill, what are you doing in there? No gas company charges you to... <laughs> if they suspect there's a leak in the system hmm. near, your... Better be good. near your domicile, they do not charge to have a look-see. I need you to knock on the gate again. Sir. They do charge for turning it off, though. Because that's basic service. Or rather, not for turning it off, but for turning it back on. I'm popular really? today. Uh, they turn a valve! Yes, but they have to drive out there and do it. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? I was sent by your landlord. Oh, you were? Yep, he wanted me to ask you a few questions. Well, for your information, I don't have a landlord. I Told you. this apartment. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. How does she own the... It's New York. Owning apartments is common. Didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Joey, what are you... I need hmm. more. It better... You can't exactly I need own a house if you're living in New York. So you That's buy a an apartment. I'm popular I today. I figured people generally rent. Um, uh, you again. I'd like to look. I'm not who. I, I live next door. You do? Which room? Uh, four E. No, you don't. You're not fooling me. One of who is? I told the only is as a good bot. Where else can I go? Blur. Okay. I. Th I don't think I can do it. This is impossible. Ridiculous. So, is, is it all taken care of? Not yet, dear. Slacker. Let's see, can you tell her what you found out so it gets in the notebook? Hey, hey kid, kid, come here. Sure, sure what's, what's up? up? I can't get a read on that lady ghost. She either wants to slap me or bake me cookies. You could use a good slap. Nah. I'd rather have cookies. Cookie slap! 
Is it Johnny, Johnny Ivory a name? name? Never heard of a name, name like that. that. Don't know. Is it the film? Yeah. Looks like our night won't be so easy um, after all. Disappointed? Nah. What? No, 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 no. What? Why is it? What is? Sorry. What even was that? It was a text message. Oh. Okay. To the phone book. Quiet here. Yeah. yeah. What? What was that other name? I feel so exposed with all those windows staring at me. No, Harriet. Look down and see me something. talking to you. Oh, no. Uh, worst that could happen is they think you're crazy. Great. You answer, Brendan. I don't All right. Know. Let's get on with it. Chocolate yeah. things. I like chocolate Shouldn't things. That have, no, it, it, you it, can it didn't. Some coffee. I can't. No, it didn't. Why wouldn't he tell her? I don't know. Why didn't he write it down? I'm going in again. You know what? So I'll do. go back in. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to. Right here. You don't need to. I'm already in. Sherman. Harriet Sherman. Okay. I didn't need to write down. I'm gonna run to the recording life room. Okay. Mm. Oh. Quick question. Yeah. Are you gonna need more than like five? Okay. Okay, because I will probably need to again soon. Because so you your daughter. Oh, I'm just dead. Home. Yeah, Marion, when you do something annoying, you're his daughter. <laughs> Is this the Lion King? Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. You up for some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Call it a special treat. I miss where the Johnny Ivory's the jazz basket. <laughs> and Harriet... Two T's? Oh, <laughs> already laughs. It usually only has one. There's a phone number, but no hat. Okay. Do we... Also, you can uh, gleefully do the cases one at a time. In fact, that's the corner there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there are only two cases. Again. These are short. Busy. I better go over there in person. Go right ahead. Is this Harriet Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? I could really use your help. Help? Why should I help you? Why should I help anybody? Nobody's ever done me any favors. Goodbye. Don't call back. I guess I could take this along. Did you just say you're gonna drink some Code Red, Brendan? Code Red. Really? NBD. Hey. Oh, it's me again. Why is this? You? Is it an I thought I told you not to call. Yeah, I know. I, know. I am old enough for the caffeine to make me go. I'm <laughs> for I mean, Code Red tastes good. Why yes. did you say? The cherry flavor makes you feel a little. Uh, yes, yes, yes I, I do. Not much. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Lamp. <laughs> Come on, guys, and I'll answer whatever you want. 24 Raptor, down in the back of the Just buzz up. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry, left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. <laughs> but why aren't you wearing the pair that you're buried in? You're a ghost. I mean, come on. Yeah, but that's ghost money. It's oh, not there's something out of crunch you might want to grab. There's something on the couch you might want to grab. I I grabbed the dictaphone already. Brendan, that's not really an appropriate joke for the show, is it? What? <laughs> I'm not even on a couch. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. The only ones on a couch are you three. 
Harriet, Harriet Sherman's or Jenny Avery's? Let's go to Jenny Avery's. Wait, that's the same photo. Wait, <laughs> it is. You're the same photo. They're all what? the same photo. Why? It's only letting us look at one of them. Because yeah. Mark, deep down, we're all the same photo. This place is empty. Good. The less people, the better. I don't know much about pianos, but it seems this one. <coughs> hey, Mister. Yes. Got a minute? For a pretty thing like you, I got seven. Huh? So what brings you here on such a sad night? I'm on a case. Is that right? Oh yes, very top secret. Sounds dangerous. Very. The guy could get into trouble hanging around her like you. And Lauren, what's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. C. Or you call C. <laughs> Like a patch of high C. Is that C like the water? That C like the chord. The first chord I play, and you never forget it first. Ah, uh. the truth. Do you know any other musicians? I do run a little circle, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go. Well, Damn. oh jeez, make him stop. <laughs> <laughs> What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture. Go home with him. It's make Joey bad. super uncomfortable. No, before my time. I'm looking for info about a musician. Well, I'll try to help you out. Who is it? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope, doesn't bring it back. You lie. Gonna have to narrow it down. Do you know anything about the construction site on 53rd Street? Probably not. What would I know about a thing like that? No reason. Um, ask for Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope, sorry. You can use one okay though. for me to talk to you like that. I don't hear anybody else playing. Don't I, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a little more interesting. Is that right? These lips don't lie. I think what you could use do they do? The picture on the wall. Say what? Oh, good. See you around. Anytime, sister. Why didn't you ask him about the other? I, I asked him everything I could. Yep. You didn't ask him every option in the notebook, did you? Yeah. There are two oh, options okay. in the notebook. This one looks interesting. Okay, I didn't hear the answer to the first one. You can use a copy of that picture. I, I asked him about it. He said there wasn't one. Yet. Is the Jasmine ghost from the prom? Yet. Look at Lauren's inventory. Oh, yeah. There'd be a bit of generation loss, but only one step. Picture of a picture. It's like the Louvre. So they're making a crappy Polaroid polar instead of a good picture. It's the photo from Little Johnny Iris. Iris. Well, we got a new lead. Delicious jambalaya. It's mm -hmm. open! I'm back right here in the kitchen! Harry? Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. You from Seaman Realty? Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like. After you give me the money. 
You got it? Um, no. You got the stuff. I thought so. Just another scam artist. Get out of here! And don't come back without the dough you skin flints owe me! <laughs> well, dang. That was... Okay! <laughs> Look, you better bring her some money. Ah, uh, the ringing innovation phone. Laura, 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 it's Jack. Hi, Jack. Laura, Laura, I know you're there. I'm, I'm your brother, brother, for God's God sake. sake. Talk to me. Oh. Chain smoking. Poor thing. Here, Here we, we go. go. Yeah. Jumping records. records. 240 Essex Street. Jot that down. Newts. No. But what's okay. it? 420 Wessex Street. Yeah. Hmm. Things I'll do for a case. Oh, okay. That's the money. That's the monkey. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Don't 
get me started. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Hmm, the C sharps, huh? Uh, hey, C. Hello there. Do you know anything about the C sharps? The C sharps? Nah, nah, I've never heard of them. You're a liar. Is your name Cecil Sharp? Now, who would have told you that? Oh, you could say Little Bird told me. Tweet, tweet. Well, you won't tell anybody, will you? Lips are sealed. Ask about the C sharps? I, I just did. Oh. So you're out. Any time, sister. Combine information from the notebook. That's, That's a good idea. Good. Cecil Sharp, the C sharps. Cute, real, real cute. cute. Casey. Hello there. Were you ever in a band called the C Sharps? What makes you think that? Uh, just the name C Sharp, C So Sharp. It's a pretty strong coincidence, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I guess. So what's your answer? No. See you around. Anytime, sister. Dwayne might have something different to say about that. Yeah. Hi again. Hi yourself? Again? Was Cecil Sharp in the band of Sea Sharps? Cecil Sharp. Sea Sharp. Yes! I knew I heard the name from somewhere. So do you remember him now? Oh, yeah, he was the band leader. A genius on the piano. Cecil Sharp was definitely the band leader of the C Sharps. Asked his question. 
question. They beg. Isaac's dead. Really? Yeah. So forgive me if I don't take time to push your questions. Who is the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talk. Drove me crazy. You think he killed Isaac? I just played the piano. I don't think anything. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac, the son of a bitch had it coming. So please, just get out of here. See you later. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting they changed songs as he got upset. <laughs> yep, there's a listing for the New Yorker. Their main office is in Midtown. Of course there would be a listing for the New Yorker. It's a freaking New Yorker. Come on, let's get out of here. Behind you. you. What? Why can't I go there? Uh. Maybe because it's night and they're closed. I'll try calling. One at a time. There's yeah, only twelve. Right behind you. The New Yorker. Yes. Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. I'm Lauren Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. I feel like coming right out as an investigator might be a bad idea right here. You're doing research. No, I'm just doing some research. It's uh, true. You're a student. We're a student of life. Ah, uh, aren't we all? So what can I do for you, Ms. Blackwell? So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Ms. Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people, like me. You find that amusing? Oh, uh, not at yes, all. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. I ask again. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from them. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the bower and speak to the half wits and the half knots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them. Than you would from a lifetime school. Yeah, it doesn't mention this. There's no reason to even think this. But you've got to talk to him four times. So, what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the Sea Sharks. And then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Shaw? Yes. He's not talking. 
I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh, I don't know, tell me what those reasons are? I can't do that. Of course he can't. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not going to say anything. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Good enough. Now we know the sister. I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You did it? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Uh, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I have written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them, as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell, Isaac didn't just die. He was murdered. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I want to tell. So nobody will hear the story? All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. Whenever I forget, says Mitchell was a real person. Hmm. I think, I think that's, that's all for now. now. Alright. You have a good night now. Hmm. Time to bug poor Cecil again, I guess. Sheesh. Cecil? What? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You? That's it! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Hmm. Show your temper. Lip buster, I've had it up to here with this. I need information, it's stuck in your head, and I plan on getting it out. Let's talk and we'll get the hell out. I'll leave, but I'll be back. Oh. You really have a way with the felons, kid. I don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. Nothing's changed since the last time. Can't, can't you blow things around? Dick with his sheet music. How am I supposed to play it? I have to face facts. My piano playing days are long gone. How am I supposed to play it? I have to face facts. My piano playing days are long gone. I know that expression. Only time a man gets to look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. Hmm. Bless you. Thank you. What the cat dragged in? We need to talk. You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would've... Damn. Damn. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. Right, all right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never gonna leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. 
How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like it was magic. Such energy, such life, such a waste. What happened to Sarah? She got sick, pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Oh, come on. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that one. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. About Sarah. I told you everything. Please, just stop. What was Isaac really like? Fat, fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Well, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but let's face it. He was a big, dumb embarrassment. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a low life and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a bum. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island till he got killed by some drifter. Hmm. You don't know who killed Isaac? Yeah, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death, but I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. Can you tell me anything else about Isaac? No, I've told you everything. All right, then. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah, a duet at the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano if you could believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Hmm. Yeah, talk to him one more time about the song. <laughs> oh boy, he really likes making what? bug people. What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. Yeah. It was just a short little thing. Isaac was just a wrong thing. But Sarah's was always the same. With something like. Sarah died. I said we play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sacks playing anything that came to mind. He planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys and drag him off. I think, I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her. And, well, in his heart, he refused to believe she was dead. Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I need to record it. Yeah. But you don't have a recorder yet. Do I do. Yeah. I think It's called a dictaphone. I've been using it to record. 
dictaphone. Like talking. When you first wake up, you talk into it. Yeah. Ah. Testing, testing. Does my voice really sound like that? Gotta cut back on the cigarettes. Anyway, I've been having some extreme dreams lately, but I don't remember any of them. I get the strangest feeling that they're important, but I can't put my finger on why. I'm keeping this recorder next to my pillow so I can record what I remember as soon as I wake up. First entry, February 21st, is it? God, my head. I dreamed tonight. It's already fading away. I saw my mother. She was calling out to me and waving. She was smiling, and her face was bright. So bright. I see a child, seven or eight years old. She's surrounded by other children, but she's all alone. I call out to her, but she doesn't hear. Something is wrong. With me? With her? It's fading. I see a man in tattered clothes. He looks at me and screams. I look in a mirror and see a huge horned demon. For some reason, I'm not surprised. Hmm. I'm on a Brooklyn bridge staring at the seaport. I'm alone, strangely at peace. The water, it looks so cool and inviting. Suddenly I'm in the water, floating. I dreamt I was in a strange room. The walls are a deep pink, and there are books and papers everywhere. Joey is behind me, trying to get my attention. I ignore him. I feel strangely good about it. I see Jack and Maria. They're far away, but I know it's them. I see his glasses and her bright red hair. I want to join them. I run to catch up. I always get there, but I, I trip and fall. Maria turns to help me up, but it's not Maria. She's got red hair like Maria, but it's someone else. She says she's sorry. Then I wake up. I'm in a hospital room. There's a Chinese girl lying on the bed. She's dreaming of the future? She doesn't want to be yeah. held. Yep. Suddenly, I say a magic word, and her eyes widen with trust. I made a friend, and yet I don't want her friendship. I run away. I'm on a fire escape. I'm talking with a man who wants to be my friend. Suddenly his face turns blue. He can't breathe. He dies. It's my fault. I could have stopped it. I'm in a huge house. I see gas lamps and electric lights. I look into a mirror and see an old woman. She reaches out of the mirror to grab me. I take her hand and hold it tight. Then I wake up. I'm on a train, speeding away into the night. Next to me is a man. I know nothing about him, yet I trust him. I think I love him. Then he disappears. What did I do wrong? I'm trapped. Trapped somewhere bright. I see my mother and a woman I don't recognize. I see Joey far away, calling out for me. We're fighting for our lives, but it's too late. The world goes dark. Ah, oh, I hate that dream. Hey, that got me an achievement. Play the recording from Johnny Ivory's just to make sure that we got it all. Oh, we, we did. Oh, okay. I'm okay. sure. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have it. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. We've, We've got, got company. company. Huh. Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? See what, lady? The whole of the world. Connections. Patterns. Posting with love. Oh, great. One of New York's finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will you? The nice approach. Do you want money? Because I don't have any. How about a cigarette? Fool! Liar! Can't you see? Um... Useless! Bye! Useless! Cool. Wow. I know. Only in New York. That's not what I was going for. No. No, is it doing the thing? No. I don't think. It looks like it's freezing. What? It looks like it did the thing. What? Crap. Oh, fudge. 
What was the last what? time we saved? It's been a while since we saved. Uh, what did you do? I tried to use the dictaphone on him. Oh, you meant to play it, though. Yeah. And again, I expect uh, that, so I think it dirt. Oop. Oh. Is that you, sis? No, I just I behaved weird. Maybe. I am if you want me to be. Oh, I want you to be. Be my sis, but you're not her. My sis is dead, is she? Yeah. Now I'm dead, too. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. Lungs. Lungs. Not moving from this spot until I finish this. From the top of lung. <laughs> hey there. Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could you do that? I don't know. But I think this case just got a hell of a lot more. Fun fact, if you finish the second case first, she wouldn't have shown up there. Hmm. I don't know why. My foresight's limited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wasting motion with the future. <laughs> At least it's not that annoying uh, ability of only being able to see three sides in the future. <laughs> That'd be extremely useful only in combat situations by and large. Mm -hmm. Anything happening really quickly. For long term, utterly useless. It's open! Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. You got, you got my money this time. time. I, I sure do. You. It's about time. Give it here! Here you go. Hmm. It's all here. Sure enough. What? Where did you get the money? It was the rainy day jar. Right. What tea you will look bad Don't, Don't worry about it. Oh, well, I won't. Now. You wanted to ask me something? So tell me about yourself. Me? Why do you want to know? 
Your name came, came up during, during an investigation, investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Secret Realty? Not exactly. Ah, you just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. She's all hard. At least she's honest? Hmm. What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there? How's the old place looking? It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! <laughs> can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then a single realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was dull. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. So they paid you money to leave? Yup. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. Building was about to be condemned anyway. So everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. There it is. Ah. Who is Mavis Wilcox? The lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave, is why. Sigma was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you would definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. You mean she died? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Oh, right again, it's a joke. She loved so much. I'd call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. Countess. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? Oh, never mind. Some street kid, most likely, thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then it had to kill her. Happens all the time. Does it now? How well did you know Mavis? It doesn't seem like that sort of thing would happen all the time, actually. Down the hall from her yeah. On the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. But it's been six months, and nothing. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? Just that she lived on the third floor with me. There's nothing else. Do you know anything about a strange old woman in wandering the streets? Funny you mention that. This is New York. I once saw a strange old woman wandering the hallway back in the old building. I yelled her to leave, and she did. I doubt that she was the one you're looking for, though. The world is full of strange old ladies, not unlike myself. Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much, just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of, yes. Well, you might as well take a look at it. Nobody else has come looking. Thanks. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. I bet he has something to say about the Countess. Twice in one evening. Come on in, sit down. Oh, she's been all over town this evening. Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the street? This might not be even There's plenty of strange old women, Miss Blackwell. Some stranger than others. Can you give me some more details? She calls herself the Countess. Mr. Mitchell? I'm thinking. No. I can safely say I've never set eyes on this I'm sorry. 
No. Are you sure you've never met a woman like that? No, I've never met a woman like that. Did you know me, Miss Wilcox? Miss Wilcox? Yes, I remember her. Lived up down the ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. So what can you tell me about me, I get the impression she didn't get out much. That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet her. What was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea, showed me pictures of the family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. Any thoughts on who did it? Well, there were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But I doubt that. The police ruled it was some squad or drift or something, and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? I have no theory. Why did you want to write about her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She was begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And, and what, what did you, you discover? discover? That, Miss Blackwell, is the eternal question. I've spoken to hundreds of people over the years. Most of them are harder than Mavis. It's impossible to decide for the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contented myself just with the ones. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. Are you sure you've never met a woman like that? No, I've never met a woman like that. Yeah, okay. What an interesting cadence. No, I have never met a woman like So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon. Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. So tell me about yourself. I beg your pardon. Oh, it's just the same thing again. <laughs> okay. Do you know anything about the construction, construction site? There are so many of them around. Really? I don't blame you. It happens so slowly. Buildings being torn down, new buildings going up. New York City is constantly evolving. An eternal state of rebirth. Like a bone. in that respect, actually. Go back and forward 20 years and you won't recognize a thing. It's very profound. Yes, I'm sorry. Attentive, wax on a bit. Or really any living tissue. I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. Do you know what issue it was in? I'd like to look it up. I never published it. I was going to, but then it made us die, and it just seemed wrong somehow. This I don't is even suspicious. Have, have you got to publish anything? The people you interview seem to I die mysteriously an awful lot. All right. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Are you sure you don't know a lady who calls herself the Countess? No, I've never met a woman like that. <laughs> no, I've never met a woman like that. <laughs> There's, There's not much in here. here. Just, Just a, a photograph, photograph and a letter. Mrs. Wilcox, thank you for agreeing to speak with me. As promised, I'll be that's returning. The, that's, that's the ghost at the construction, construction site. site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. And who's the young man from Columbia? Probably her son, I'm guessing. That's her. Definitely, Definitely the lady in the site. Is that someone this can look kid doesn't, doesn't look too happy to be with me. Hmm. Uh, go down to the shirt? He's, He's wearing, wearing a, a Columbia, Columbia University, University sweatshirt. sweatshirt. He's wearing a... <laughs> Here's a question mark. Columbia? Oh, wait. That wasn't there before. What wasn't there it said, before? Oh, wait. Did it say Columbia or clothing at first? It said Columbia. Okay, wait. And that's the clothing and they went Columbia? So, thank you for agreeing to speak with me. That is from I'm returning the photograph you lent me. All the best, Jay Mitchell, New York. Okay, so that's all that was. Uh, do, do, do. I'm, I'm going, going in again. again. You, you know, know what, what to do. do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Joey, go forth and Joey. Hello, Hello out there. there. Joey, what, what are you, you doing, doing in there? there? I need you to do something. Hmm. It better be good. I need you to knock on the gate again. Sir. My, I'm popular today. 
Uh, you again. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit chat. Who are you? Her son. Yes. It's me. Your son. Sam? Yep, that's me. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you! Yeah, yeah look, look at, at me. me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. The book updated. <laughs> oh, he's gonna say something stupid. Oh, Mom, how's, how's it going? going? Oh, you know, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own. But I can lie. Yeah, yeah I, I can, can see, see that. that. Listen, Listen, Mom, I need, I need you, you to think, think very carefully. What's, what's the last the thing you remember? remember? What do you mean? Answer the door and see you, of course. And, and before that? that Nothing. You know nobody comes here. Except for the grocer, sometimes. And that... That who? Nobody. Ask about Dad? So, tell me more about yourself, Mom. Sam, says when did you become so interested? Just trying to get to know you better. Well, isn't that sweet? But I honestly don't know what to tell you. Have you been talking to a reporter from the New Yorker? Yes, such a nice man. He came over and talked to me for a bit. I liked him. He listened to me. What did you talk about? Oh, this and that. Don't know why he was so interested. Have you been talking? Yeah, did you oh, like what did you do? Oh, don't know. So what can you tell me about me? You're so confused, Sam. Never mind. Have you seen any strange old women lurking around here? An old woman? Yeah. I... No, no, I haven't. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yes. Have you seen any... No. Uh, no. You sure? Yes, I'm <coughs> Are we out of questions? Uh, how's, how's dad, dad, mom? Oh, Sam, you know that your father is dead. John Durkin died years ago. Ah, uh, right. Sorry. So, mom, how are my brothers and or sisters? That's not funny, Sam. You know you're an only child. Right, just, just checking. checking. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you know a guy named John Durkin? Is that a joke, Sam? You know he's been dead for ten years. Ah, uh, sorry. How can you forget he was your father? Slip my mind. Slip your mind? Just, just look, forget it. You're bad at this, Joey. You're Mom, bad at this. look around carefully. Are you, Are you sure, sure that you're at home? You're so confused, Sam. Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. I don't think I have any more now. questions to ask. I'll come back to visit you soon. Sure, Sam. I'll be here. I'd like to see them. We have a name now. Mm-hmm. Meaning we can go to Columbia University and find him. Hmm. That broad really hacks me off. You should try flowers next time. <laughs> Let's nope, go look up Sam Wilcox in the phone book. Yep. Don't you miss having a computer for our research? Mm-hmm. Well, since uh, Lauren does all the work, it's pretty much identical to having Miss Angela do all the work. Yeah, mechanically speaking, it's really no different. You're just clicking a thing and selecting something. <laughs> Columbia University. Columbia University. Here's, Here's the, the number. number. 
And even though he's dead, I want to see if... There's no entry for that. Okay. John the Gherkin Durkin. Uh, let's call Jack. See if that... But we don't know Jack. Uh... Hello. Hello. Lauren, is that you? Sis? Jesus. Now why'd, why'd you, you go, go and do that? that? Back off, okay? All right, all right. This is me backing off. Good. Sabs. Columbia University, operator speaking. How may I direct your call? Connect me to Sam. Sam. You have a last name, ma'am. Chris, it is Wilcox. Wilcox. Joey, what's the kid's name? You're asking me. No, I don't know his last name. Then there's not much else I can do. Oh my so god. We, uh, we have to put it together in this anyway it. book. Bye. Yep. Same dirt. Oh, are you slow? Me. You slow just like your niece. If John Durkin was Sam's father. Oh! It's only logical that Sam's Then we didn't look up did. Sam Durkin, we looked up yeah. Sam Wilcox. No, no, so no. we can look him up. Under that name in the phone book. Perhaps. Hmm. There's no list. Oh, well, I'm sure, sure that would work. Yeah, well. Call back to Columbia. Columbia University, operator speaking. How may I direct your call? How about Sam Durkin? Is there a Sam Durkin list? Sam Durkin, yes. Hold, please. It's about time. Investigator? Neighbor? To be honest. Yeah. I'm investigating your dad. Oh, uh, you're a cop, are you? Because my dad was a cop. I know people. I can check. No, I'm not a cop. Did they think so? Just a concerned citizen, huh? That's right. Somehow I don't believe you. Nobody in their right mind would be concerned about my mom. Whether you believe me or not, it can't hurt to talk to me. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you knew it, you know what a pop up number she was in. I would? She, she never left the Or E? No. No, it was D. He was, was three. Third floor. Very three dimensional apartment. Yep. Alright, so maybe you did know. Thank you. So what do you want to know about it? What do you know about her death? It was suicide. She killed herself? Not literally. But it was like she chose to die. She had every opportunity to leave. They were going to pay her to find a new place and everything. I tried to get her out, but that's my mom. She couldn't be dragged out of that dump by anybody or anything. Do you know who killed her? She was killed by some junkie, wasn't she? So they say. You think different? That's what I'm trying to find out. Good luck to you. How close were you with your brother? Close. Think of the farthest place you can and add another 10,000 miles. That's how close we Woman was a mother, just crazy on wheels. Did Mavis ever leave her apartment? Never. Not once in the last 15 years. You don't seem upset by her death. Upset? Sure, she was my mom. But am I gonna lose sleep? No. She drove my pop out of the house and into an early grave. I once thought I'd follow in his footsteps, but not anymore. The woman didn't go anywhere. Never did it. She was killing me just by existing. Now I feel like I can breathe again. That's the truth. What was it like really sad? You kidding? I lived with my pop. After three years of marriage, he had enough. Glad he had the sense to take me with him. And after your father died? I got by. You never visited your mother? Yeah, I visited her on Mother's Day. That's what you want to know. You even got her a present once. Really? Yeah, for all the good of it. Did you give your mom on Mother's Day? I don't, I don't think, think that's any of your business, lady. It's, it's been, been years. years. Just, just dust on the ground now. Bye, Sam. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't see how the 
those two things are linked. Well, they, they are, but not in a useful way. Joey. What's the deal? It's hard to believe Sam gave his mother a present. You really seem to hate her. Families are strange things, Dollface. You know that more than anybody. Yeah. Family relationships are tricky things. It gets even trickier when the dead are involved. Family relationships are tricky. It gets... Any thoughts on our construction site ghost? Her? She's not bad looking in a motherly kind of way. Any thoughts on how to save her? Nothing springs to mind. That old woman, how could she see you? I don't know. Only folks that can see me are animals and other ghosts. I don't think she's either. I don't know, Joey. She reminds me of something. Arthur. I can't explain it. Well, if you see her again, you can ask her. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Okay, I'm missing something. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. But I'm not exactly sure what. Okay. Perhaps an information source you've recently uh, used can. It's Mrs. Sherman? Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. You got, you got more, more questions, questions for me? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Well, hurry up and ask. I ain't getting, getting any younger. <laughs> Do you know anything, anything about, about this picture? picture? I don't know the boy. But that, that was Mavis's living room. If Mavis had a son, I never saw him. Do you know a John Durkin? No, never heard of him. Well, dang. Yeah, she's not gonna know that. No. Uh, someone else who... The, uh, uh talk to before... Mavis might know things. Yeah. Bye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. I get the impression that, um, yes. Ms. Uh, Wilcox was I'm about as I'm much I'm of a hermit with her neighbors as Rosangela will later be. Hmm. Do you know anything about Sam, Mavis' son? I'm afraid not. Mavis discussed his son and seemed proud of him, but I don't think they see each other. I've never met the boy myself. Did Mavis ever mention a gift or present from her son? Now that you mention it, yes. She showed me a leather bound edition of Alice in Wonderland and said it was from her son. Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, I've heard of it. What was that present Mavis got from her son? It was a leather bound cop. But why? Why are you doing the same thing? Ah. That was probably unique, though. I think I that's, that's all. Alright, you have a good night. Is, uh, is Cyan around waiting to take over momentarily? Because I feel like we're really close to the end of this, but it's also he's really on. close. I don't know if he's. To the end of the show. Sam got his mother a present for Mother's Day. Whatever it was, it probably got destroyed when the building was knocked down. No, I don't see it. Yeah, fine. I'm going in again. Yeah, yeah. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? I need you more. It better be good. I need you to start. My, I'm popular today. Oh, who's sad? Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which present was that? The book. The book. Alice in Wonderland. Of course I still have it. It was the only Mother's Day gift you ever bought me, Sam. Can I see it? Whatever for. Come on, I just want to see it. Sure, Sam. It's right on the table. Great. Uh, why don't you bring it out here? You mean, pick it up? Yeah, pick it up and bring it over. Pick it up. 
Sure, I can pick it up. Oh! Oh no! What? The book is gone! Gone, huh? Imagine that. Somebody stole it! Sam, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Comfort her? It's okay, Mom. Okay? Okay? I lost your gift! Tell her she's dead. You can't pick up the book because it's not there. Sam? The book's not there and neither is the table, right? What? Think! The book's gone. The table's gone. The whole room is gone. Sam, you're awful. I'm upset and I'm sorry. Don't make it worse, please. You need to find that book, Mom. I don't know if I can love a mother who loses my gifts. You don't mean that. I mean it, Mom. You need to tell me where the book is. But I don't know where to look. Out in the hallway? Maybe, Maybe it's, it's out, out here, here, Mom. In the hallway? Sure, in the hallway. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure it's out here. here. Come on, on out and help me look. look. Oh, okay, okay Sam. But, but only for, for you. you. I, I, I still don't see, see it anywhere. anywhere. Let's, Let's try, try further, further down, down, Mom. My son hates me. All I had left was my home. And then... Then I... Oh, God! Here we go. Are you happy now? You couldn't just leave me there. You had to bring me out. You had to make me remember. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Being dead is horrible. You get used to it. I... I don't want to feel like this anymore. Everything is so dark and cold. Can I go home now? Sure. Sure, I can take you home. Just hold on to this. Over to you, kid. Right. <coughs> Wait, no. no. This, this doesn't, doesn't make, make any, any sense. sense. 
Why are you killing people? I save people. I don't hurt them. Get back here, stupid old hag. Let's get after her. Did she get away again? She get it away again. God damn it. Your nose okay? That, that lamppost lamp should not have been there. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> yeah, that lamppost totally made it a legal turn. Okay, it seems like a good place to... Oh, Anything better? I, I is, is this not the end? I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. No, we still have to resolve Just stuff with Count. Yes. Figure it out. Let's chat for a while. Right. Maybe we'll come up with something. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing them. She did say she helped people. Save them. Be killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead. I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people. But they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks otherwise. Okay, it looks like this will require a little running around. Okay. So this will probably be like the first... Yeah, I'll, I'll finish this dialogue Maybe tree. Maybe the next time. Maybe. That woman, the Countess, or whatever she's called, is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I, I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. Hmm. Hmm. If she's a medium, where is her spirit guy? You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the spirit world. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. Is it possible to be a medium without a guy? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guy. That's how it works. What could have happened to her spirit guy? I don't know. I thought you could have my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or what? And it was killed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think I want to know. So what could her connection be? I don't know. Something has to connect to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or moon city, so it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. The Countess connects these two cases. There has to be something or someone else that has the same quarter. Yep. Joseph Mitchell? Bingo. The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got the power, but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? They sit between smalls and larges. We help spirits into the, the next world. world. Exactly. A medium needs a guide. Hers is gone. Somehow Mitchell fills in the gap. Our Countess has been told through Mitchell's writing to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean... I think you get the picture. Oh god. That's sick. It makes sense though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. Okay, well. We can resolve this next week because I've run ten minutes over. Yay! Sorry, Cyan. Uh, you said I'm really in a rush, go for it. And then I look through the uh, end, game, end game sequence here and it's not very long, but it's also likely too long in terms of gameplay. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'll be back at nine Eastern for Throne of Games proper, where uh, we should be continuing uh, Homeworld Deserts of Karak. So, uh, in the meantime, stick around for DJ Mon. He's up next, and I hope to see you all later. Yay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.